Hey, in today's video, I'm going to try to answer the question, do upgraded, more secure collars make the Titan loadable dumbbell handles worth it? Hey, this is Greg with Discovering Strength, a channel focused on fitness tips and product reviews for the average guy or girl trying to get in shape through strength training. If you like what you see, consider subscribing below. All right, so a little time has gone by since I purchased the Titan Fitness loadable dumbbell handles. These are the 20 inch versions. Uh, and in my, in my review of them, which you can check out at the link above. My biggest concern was the, the security of the weight plates on the dumbbell handles. Because as you can see, the sleeves here are very smooth. So kind of the combination of the smooth sleeves and uh, just kind of uh, cheap collars uh, made it so that the weight plates would slide off. And I had one or two occasions where the weight plates completely slid off of the dumbbell handles. So that basically meant that I couldn't lift heavy with the dumbbell handles because I was too worried that the weight plates would fall off or they would somehow fall on me or I would, I would somehow injure myself. So I decided to upgrade my, upgrade my uh, collars and I got the Archon Fitness uh, Professional Collars. These are magnetic, they stick to your rack. Uh, but these are much nicer than the other ones that I had. Um, so I've been using these now for a little while and I'm going to provide an update on whether or not I think that the dumbbell handles are worth it with upgraded collars. So now after using the dumbbell handles with the Archon Fitness collars for about a month, I am happy to report that they are much more secure. I haven't noticed any slipping. Uh, so that definitely gives me a lot more peace of mind that they're not, the weight plates aren't gonna fall off and I'm not gonna injure myself. All right, so that brings me to my overall recommendation. Um, I do think that the dumbbell handles are a pretty good option if you want to be able to lift heavy and you want to go beyond maybe your 50 pound dumbbell set. However, that being said, um, I think there are some other downsides that uh, make it so that I don't use them all that often. Um, you know, they're pretty awkward just to get into position. I talked about that in my previous video. Um, and you add to that that it's kind of time consuming and cumbersome to load the plates for the weight you want to do. So as a result, I don't use them very often. Um, I find myself just using my uh, rubber hex dumbbells that you can see back there. Uh, I only have up to 50 pounds, but I just don't like to take the time to have to load the dumbbells. And while they're now secure with the collars, one of the other things that I would be a little concerned about is if I'm, I'm lifting heavier, say, you know, closer to 100 pounds on each dumbbell, and I need to bail out, you know, with the rubber hex dumbbells, you just throw them on the ground and no problem. Um, but I wouldn't feel very comfortable doing that with these not knowing kind of where they would go, you know, they could damage some other piece of equipment I have in my gym. All right, so that is basically the overall recommendation is, yes, I think they still can be a good option if, you know, you're okay with the setup time um, and it being a little cumbersome to load them, uh, they can still be a good option. Um, if I had to go back and do it all over again, uh, I may have pursued another option. Um, so take that for what it is. Um, let me know if you got any more questions in the comments below and we'll see you next time.